Everything you're about to see is vegan, gluten-free, high protein, and totally delicious. I'm Janelle, and today I'm gonna show you how tasty, satisfying, and filling a plant-based diet can be, and how easy it is to get a ton of protein in your meals with a little help from an awesome nutrition tracking app I have been loving lately. Plus, I've got four delicious healthy hacks to share that you won't wanna miss. Good morning! So, healthy hack number one for this video is Replacing your bread with sweet potatoes. What? Yeah, it's something that I've actually been doing for a really long time, but let me tell you a little story of how Janelle used to literally have a bread addiction. I honestly would have like an English muffin with breakfast. I probably have one for a snack later in the afternoon, and then I may end up having one like before bed as like a pre-bedtime snack, which is like, the worst thing to do is like eat bread right before you go to bed. Anyway, it was a lot of extra calories with really not a lot of nutritional benefits, not a lot of bang for your buck. It was a very, very hard time in my life. <laughs> but then I learned about sweet potato toast and it's pretty much changed. I don't wanna say it's changed my life, maybe. Yeah, maybe it's changed my life a little bit. <laughs> that I don't really crave bread anymore. Sweet potato toast has become such an amazing healthy hack for me because one, it's so much more filling than a piece of bread. Like it's physically more dense than a slice of bread. And it's also way, uh, it has a much lower calorie density than bread does. Like one to two pieces of bread is anywhere from like 100 to 300 calories. While the sweet potato toast that I'm having with my breakfast this morning, it's only 70 calories, which is like ridiculous. Like not a lot of calories, but a lot of, a lot of fullness. So that is something that is really cool. If you are struggling to, you know, cut out uh, unnecessary calories or things that don't really keep you full and don't really give you a lot of energy. So that's one hack for you guys to try. I do them sweet, I do them savory. Today I have opted to go for the savory route with a little bit of avocado on top. Brad's got some hummus on his. And let's see what this all comes down to as far as calories, carbs, protein, fat with my Trainist app, you guys. I talked about the Trainist app in my last video, you guys. They're a brand new nutrition tracking app that I have been loving. It has been really helping me stay on track with my macros. So for this breakfast, we have a total calories of about 370. That's including my protein shake, which I've got here. And the total carbs is about 27 grams. I've got 26 grams of protein with this breakfast because of not only my protein shake, but also my tofu scramble. You guys know how much I love my tofu scramble. It is such an amazing, healthy plant-based hack for scrambled eggs. It's so high in protein, so good for you, and it's so Failing. I've shown how to make it many times on my channel, so if you want the full recipe, just look down below in my video description. So overall, a very healthy, low calorie breakfast that's got lots of nutrition, lots of protein, and later on, you guys, I'm going to show you my new favorite way to replace chips. Healthy hack number two, coming up. It's crispy, it's crunchy, it's high protein. It is like gonna be your new favorite chip substitute. Mwah. I'm gonna go eat my breakfast and I'll see you guys very soon. Mm. Mm. I'm about nine-ish weeks into a 90-day intensive fitness program called P90X3 and today's workout was and always is a total killer at Ripper X. What you're seeing me do here I could not have done a few months ago. Core strength is always something I've struggled with and as a result it gave me so many musculoskeletal issues that I've had to work really hard to overcome. I'm really proud of what I can do now with my body and I'm definitely not stopping anytime soon. Okay guys, as I promised earlier on, I have healthy hack number two for you on how to replace chips in your diet with something that is so much healthier and way higher in protein. Would you believe that these are made with tofu? These little crispy strips, these little crispy crunchy morsels are made from extra firm tofu. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Guys, literally all you have to do is grab a box grater, 
shred a block of extra firm tofu. Toss a little bit of oil on it. If you want to, you can skip it. They'll just be slightly less crispy. Add a little bit of soy sauce, add whatever seasonings you want. I just used smoked paprika and garlic powder and pepper, and that's literally it. And you air fry them for like 25 minutes. Did you hear that? Mmm, mmm, so healthy, so satisfying, so high in protein, and they're like totally energy boosting and very delicious. These are like so much better than chips. Now that you know how easy it is to shred tofu with the box grater, I'm gonna show you another delicious recipe you can use for shredded tofu. We're making pulled pork sandwiches, you guys, and yeah, it's a real thing and it is really good and it's been so long since I've made these, so today just felt like the right day to do it. So I've got a whole bunch of shredded tofu and I've added it to a bowl. Now you just season it with whatever kind of smoky spices you like. I happen to have smoked paprika and chili powder, so that's what I use, but you could use like cumin or whatever else you want. And then you just bake them in the oven until they're kind of firm and a little bit crispy, but not like bone dry crispy like the tofu crisps I just showed you. And then all you gotta do is heat up some barbecue sauce and water in a saucepan, toss your tofu shreds in the sauce, let it thicken up a bit, let the tofu absorb some of the sauce, add a little more if you want, and that's it. That's literally how easy it is to make pulled pork with tofu, you guys. Like, isn't it totally flippant? genius can you feel the energy yo pulled pork tofu sandwiches you guys oh my gosh seriously these are really really satisfying and while it is definitely an unconventional way to make pulled pork it is a really great plant-based dupe for when you're feeling like something saucy, sweet, messy, barbecue-ish, so good. Like juicy, meaty, very good. And carrot fries, like, hello. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. That's healthy hack number three of this video, transforming carrots into fries because Reaching for the bag of frozen french fries in the freezer is very tempting, but if you are, you know, on a health weight loss journey, it may feel like something that could derail your progress. And so, seriously, if you have never considered turning root vegetables into fries, this is this is your invitation to do so. You know, depending on the root vegetable you use, it's crunchy like a fry, crispy on the edges. Carrot fries are also really naturally sweet too. So you could use carrots if you also don't have sweet potatoes. You could also make sweet potato fries, guys. Fries, guys. <laughs> you know, I am well aware that this meal is kind of a cheat meal. You know, we got a really saucy, barbecue-y, kind of sugary situation with all that barbecue sauce. And we got the bun, you know, which is bread, which I generally have been avoiding most days. But hey, you know what? I don't really care. I am allowed to have a cheat meal, and so are you. And if it comes a little bit high on the calories, that's okay. I think overall today, I'm actually still doing pretty good. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna reach my goals, I hope. So without further ado, let's see what this meal came in at for total calories. We're looking at a grand total of 680 calories, which is, yeah, it's definitely a little higher than I have been, you know, kind of aiming for these days. I try to stick around five, 100, 550, 600, I'm usually okay with that. So we're definitely a little over, but you know, we actually came kind of under with my breakfast this morning. So it all kind of evens out. So I'm happy about it. We got about, let's see how much protein. 25 grams of protein. So happy with that. Honestly, it was a delicious meal. It was well worth it. And I'll be sharing with you guys all my macros for the rest of my meals and snacks today. So stay tuned and uh, yeah gonna be good. I was definitely feeling more of the comforting cozy vibes ever since the lunch I had like the pulled pork sandwiches really made me crave just more of that like more cozy comforting so I was like let's use up some veggies and make a delicious hearty soup so I threw in some potatoes some sweet potatoes some mushrooms carrots and a whole bunch of spices made it kind of smoky tasting with some smoked paprika and onion powder and garlic powder and yeah so simple hardly any ingredients hardly 
any time at all. And uh, it turned out really good, you guys. It's so simple. All you gotta do is let the veggies basically soften for about 25 minutes. And then this last step, adding a little bit of miso paste in water with some nutritional yeast at the very end gives it the best savory umami flavor. Oh, so good. This is the kind of soup you can make if you have like no produce in your house. Like these are all like potatoes, carrots, sweet potatoes, all the things that like last for weeks and weeks and weeks. And when you've run out of all your fresh produce and stuff, this is totally the kind to make. And even if you don't have like garlic and onions, which I didn't have, that's why he didn't see me put any in my soup. This still turned out like so delicious. Anyway, so let's see you guys what my total calories came in at for the day. Did I hit my 1800? Did I go over? Did I come under? I hit 1775 calories. So yay, yay me. I'm actually like pretty, I'm kind of shocked that I didn't go over because I really thought that, uh, that my lunch may have like slightly put me over my goal, but I came under by 25-ish calories. So that's awesome. And I got a lot of protein today, not surprisingly, because of all the tofu I ate today. 92 grams of protein is what I got today, which is pretty great. I, I try to hit around 100. Sometimes I hit 120, but honestly, 90 grams of protein, I'm fine with that. I didn't do a super hard workout today, so, uh, uh, this is, this works for me. Okay, so my overall thoughts so far on using Trainus to track my nutrition on the daily has been very good. I'm really enjoying the app. Personally, I'm finding it to be really easy and really intuitive. Like there's nothing complicated about the app at all. As soon as you finish a meal or while you're eating it, it takes like just a few seconds to plunk all of your ingredients into the, the app. And something I'm really excited for that they're going to be launching uh, on the app pretty soon as they're still in their beta phase is they're gonna have check-ins. So you're gonna be able to like set goals, check in with the progress you're making, which is awesome because I am all about making progress and I'm really excited for this new feature that they're gonna have on the app soon. So if this is something that sounds interesting to you guys and you're looking for an easy and free app, this is always gonna be a free app to help you track your nutrition and fitness and health goals, definitely use my download link below. And lastly, I'm all about the high protein, healthy, vegan, gluten-free meals and recipes, you guys. So definitely subscribe below if you want more of that in your life. I post all the time and I don't want you to miss things that could help you in your healthy eating journey. Thank you for watching this video, you guys. Make sure you check out this playlist next and I'll see you guys in a future video. Bye.